everybody, Steve back again. Uh, we're back with the ATEM software control on the Mac Mini. Uh, we're going to do things in a very similar fashion to the way we did with the main control panel over here on the side here. Um, so we're going to start with simple cuts and transitions between sources on the system. Then we'll go on to more advanced things like downstream key and ME2, ME1, media players, hyperdecks, things of that nature. But we're going to start with cuts and transitions. So as you can see, uh, same sort of representation as you've got on the hardware control panel down here. You've got the ME uh, Mix and Effects 1 program bus and preview bus. So this is the program bus for ME1. This is the preview bus for ME1. So let's say camera 4, like we had earlier. Camera 4 has a source on it. It's one of the cameras that's been set up next door. Apologies, apologies for the reflections and stuff. Can't do much about that from this angle, but uh, there you go. So we've got camera 4. If you want to switch away to something else, we can switch away to a media player. This is all just being done by clicking on things. So media player 2 is showing that uh, lower third that we had earlier on. Back to media player 1. And back to camera 4. So there you go. Um, you do have a virtual T-bar here as well. So if on the program we have camera 4, the preview we have media player 1. I'm not running the media player at the moment, it's just sitting in stop. But um, there you go. So I can take my T-bar and I can do my mixes. There you go. If I go to wipe and I set wipe, I can find my T-bar again, there we go, and I can do my wipes, so it's just up and down, and that's going all the way, between foreground and between preview and program, there we go, just as we did before. Uh, if I just want to cut between transitions, there is a cut button here, so I can just click, click cut, cut, cut. Okay. If I want to change the duration of the auto transition, so it's currently at one second, so if I click that once, there you go, there's my auto wipe, and you can see the T-bar moving up and down. If I want to change the duration, I can just click in that field and put in, with the keyboard, I believe, 0, 1, 2, and it becomes 12 frames, and so if I click auto now, it's a much faster transition. Uh, I don't know what it'll do if I put in a three-digit number, so let's have a look. So, if I put in 200, does it give me two seconds? Yes, it does. So if I click Auto now, there you go. That's the two-second transition. Okay, that's the same for, cl for clicking in any of the time fields here. So where I've got my fade to black, for example, I can put in, click in there and type in, 200, and I'm currently on a picture, so if I click fade to black, which is also one of the buttons on the on the main panel, if I click on that, it'll fade to black over two seconds, and fade back. Okay, there you go. So that's uh, some basic transitions, cuts, cuts and wipes, dissolves, and changing the directions of them.